Hi, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first episode of Creative Corner. This is a new video series and uh, in each episode we are going to build something that will have a connection to our photography. It can be a photo box as a present for a friend or, or a family member, it can be a picture frame or a system to hang pictures for an exhibition. The possibilities are endless. In this episode, for example, we are going to build a stand for our advertising postcards. Sometimes, uh, usually once per year, I take part in local art fairs or art market and um, if I find also a nice location, I do a small exhibition. Normally, I have always a table where I can put a business card or the price list and uh, for my last exhibition I want to take with me some advertising postcards. I have designed these postcards with my name for the front together with some examples of my photography and for the back I thought about another example, this time displayed in a frame and I wanted to have a field for some notes. Sometimes guests of the exhibition or the art market uh, ask me for the price for a photo but maybe in a different size or with another kind of frame, can happen that I don't have this info immediately. So in this case, I write down the request on the back of the postcard and um, together with the name and the contact for the person. And in the next days, I can call back and give the info. I think it's much more professional, looks more nice doing this um, on the back of the postcard rather than on a normal sheet of paper. Another use of the postcard is to give it directly to the guest of the exhibition. For example, um, the guests are going around watching artworks of uh, several people, then they talk with them, they ask prices, then they want to think about, maybe then they are leaving the exhibition and after some days they don't remember anymore um, what price was for which photo, in which size, and in this case, when somebody asks me for a price for a photo, I take one of the postcards, I write down on the back which photo it is, the size, the price, if it's a limited edition or not, and I give the postcard directly to the person. In this case, I create a visual contact and uh, looks more warm uh, than just giving a business card. In the uh, next days, they can think about and contact me if they uh, want to buy. And I must say that after several days of my last exhibition, I had contact with somebody who visited me at the stand and um, I've sold uh, photos. So I think uh, it works and uh, I was happy I had the postcard with me. Now let's build the postcard stand and then we are coming back here in the studio. For this project I've chosen a piece of MDF because the surface is already quite smooth. I have then measured and drawn a line where I wanted to divide the piece at the mitre saw. With a combination square I've marked 2 cm from the sides where I need to drill 2 holes. I will now make 2 holes with a 20 mm horse nail bit. Now, because the surface was already quite smooth, I'll start sanding with a 100 grit sandpaper and I'll go up to 240. Before gluing the two pieces together, I want to paint them, but I'm masking with some painter's tape the parts where I don't want to have the paint. In some parts will go some glue, and so it's better to leave the wood without paint. I have then laid the two pieces of MDF over some painter's pyramids, and then I've applied two coats of white spray lacquer with a light sanding between the coats. When the paint was completely dry, I have removed the painter's tape from all the surfaces. Mm -hmm. 
I like the smooth surface of the MDF because it looks good when painted, but I don't like the sides. And so I have decided to apply some iron on edge bending. The heat of the iron will melt the glue that was on the back of the stripe and when the glue will die, the stripes will be attached to the wood. It's important to apply some pressure and not to stay too long in the same spot or you will leave some marks. The overhanging parts that you don't need can be cut with a cutter. Of course, you need to repeat this process for all the sides that you want to cover with the edge bending. Now it's time for the glue up. We are taking them some wood glue and we are applying it to the part that we have covered with the painter's tape. I have then aligned the two pieces to form an L and with the help of two clamps I am applying some pressure to keep the two pieces together while the glue dries. With a clean sheet of paper towel I clean the parts where there was a glue squeeze out before the glue dries. I let the glue dry for a complete day and then it was time to remove the clamps. I then needed two small wooden dowels of the same length, so I've set a stop block at the miter saw and I've cut two pieces from the rest of a wooden dowel that I've used in another project. I've sanded the wooden dowel so that it could slide better into the holes. Now it's time for the final part of the construction. I've put some wood glue into the holes and then I've put the wooden dowels into the holes applying some pressure. I let the glue dry for a complete day and then the project was finished. I hope you enjoyed the first video of this new video series and let me know in the comments if in the future you would like to see contents of this kind. I think that this video was the last of the year and in case we don't see each other with a new video I wish you a Merry Christmas Happy New Year and a big thanks for joining with me in the last month. Bye bye.